Welcome back to America Sports and Video Games. In this video, I am finally going to talk about the second topic that we promised to talk about. And we will. That's video games. Nintendo Switch video games. Yeah, real fast. We will mostly only talk about the Switch and Pokemon related games plus content. I'm a big time Pokemon Go player. So, if you are a player in Pokemon Go, this will also be for you. Um, I'm sorry if you're looking for Microsoft or Sony content. I'm just not into them. So, I cannot tell you much about their systems. Alright, so today I will be going over Switch games that have yet to be released, but will be out this year. At least... The belief is that we will get to play these games on the Switch in 2022. Let's get right into it. We will be discussing these in order that they are to be released. The first game is Gotta Protectors Cart of Darkness. Published by 8.4. Releasing on April 14th, 2022. I don't know much about the publisher except that they made the game Undertale. Which is a good game. But this one is definitely on my radar. There is a regular edition, standard edition, also an ultimate edition coming out. Ultimate edition is twenty two forty nine on the eShop for pre-order. The regular standard edition is going to cost you thirteen forty nine for a pre-order. After the game comes out, they'll be both twenty four ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine. I think the price for this is fair, especially for the standard edition. To describe this, I'll use their words. Protect the princess, smash castles, pulverize foes. Will you be the first to collect all 948 game carts? Sounds like a lot of content to me. 948 game carts is a lot, no matter, no matter what. <laughs> it has a major retro feel to it. Looks like you'll be able to choose different ways to slay foes, upgrade your character, that kind of thing. It looks so much like the kind of game that I will love and cherish. And I'm okay with the pricing too as the Deluxe Edition looks like it will feature a boatload of DLC. If you're unsure of this though, but want to try it out, I would suggest just getting the Standard Edition first. Then, if you love it, go ahead and get the DLC down the road. Alright, second game is Nobody Saves the World, published by Drinkbox Studios, also releasing on April 14th, 2022. If I didn't mention the first time, the first game, God of Protector, is also out on April 14th, sorry. And also another company I don't know much about, with Drinkbox Studios. They did make the Guaca Melee games series. I never played them, but I know that there were quite a few people that were into those games. Um, so that's that should maybe give you a good indicator if this will be a good game or not. This is the exact same price as God of Protectors as well at twenty two forty nine. If you pre order it, it will be twenty four ninety nine after that time period. A lot of sites and companies have rated this game as a stellar one. G4 TV, for example, gave it a 5 out of 5. That is a perfect score. Yeah, GameSpot gave it a 9 out of 10. You can swap in and out varied forms of your character. Um, there's over 15 of them. A slug, a rat, a ghost, and more. An action RPG that is sure to bring out the fun while you save the world. 1 to 2 players, 729 megabytes required. Alright, the third game is Star Wars The Force Unleashed, published by Aspire, releasing on April 20th. A price of $19.99 seems like a great value to me. You play as a character known as Starkiller, sounds crazy, who is Darth Vader's secret apprentice. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Your job is to destroy all of the Jedi. Not some, not one, not few. All the Jedi. One to two players as well. 3.3 gigabytes required. An action slash adventure game. If you are familiar with Aspire for the Star Wars games that they made in the past, you will probably have a better idea about how this game will be for you. I like the thought of hunting Jedi. 
let me say, I am a Jedi at heart. But it does sound pretty badass to go against not one, but all Jedi. The fourth game on this list is Switch Sports. Nintendo's own. The release date of April 29th. Okay, you may be noticing that all of these games are in the month of April. Yeah, well, there are a lot of good games coming out. And we will break those down for you as time goes on. I will make more of these kinds of videos. Okay, if you played Wii Sports before, which you probably have, let's be real, then you already have an idea of if you want to play this game or not. I will say that this does look like a major improvement from the original Wii Sports game, and it better be in my opinion. Wii Sports used to come with the Wii for no cost at all. Keeping that in mind, a $40 price for this seems like it's a tad steep. I do hope that there will be more to do than there was in Wii Sports. I would say so, but don't know for sure. Like maybe more sports overall. Maybe more styles of combinations of each sport or game. Maybe some great online play? We'll see. Alright, the fifth game is Marvel's Midnight Suns. Published by Firaxis Games. Firaxis Games. I, th I think that's how you say it. In collaboration with Marvel Games. I will tell you right now, the last three games on this list do not have a release date that is known fully, other than being listed as sometime in 2022. So it technically counts at this time, but I do think it's important to note that, you know, at least one of these could be coming out in 2023. Who knows for sure? If you check out Nintendo's YouTube channel, you can find some wicked looking video of this game. Seriously. And the internet says that this will be a tactical role playing game with some turn based strategy and it will be an adventure game. Just what the doctor ordered. Speaking of doctors, I saw Doctor Strange and Wolverine also will be featured in this. So. I will inevitably be suckered into buying this one for sure. The sixth game is Hogwarts Legacy, developed by Avalanche Software, another action role-playing adventure game. I'm sure that this will include plenty of magic and dueling. I seriously cannot wait for this to come out, hopefully, this year. I love Harry Potter. There's only one series of books, movies, games, etc. that I like more than Harry Potter. And that brings us to my seventh game. My seventh game is Lord of the Rings Gollum. Published by Daedalic? Daedalic Entertainment? I don't know. Look it up. You figure it out and tell me. GMBH... Looks like a bunch of mixed up letters together, but that's fine. It will be a single player action adventure game. Looks like we'll be playing as Gollum, in search of the ring, and probably running from fell creatures that are also looking for the one ring. Oh my goodness, what an idea. I'm most hyped for this one, as you could probably tell. I am so excited to finally have a Lord of the Rings adventure game on the Switch. Shadows of War is one of my most favorite games of all time. So, it's pretty exciting. I will keep you updated on all three of these games as they're listed um, in 2022 if anything new happens to them for sure. I also have a little list of two games that would also be on my list, but their price doesn't seem to add up for me. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Hopefully I will be, but here they are. Number one is Mario Strikers Battle League, Nintendo Zone, releasing on June 10th. I'm a huge Mario playing guy, let's get that clear, but this one? I don't know if I can justify a $60 full price for this title. It just doesn't look like it's going to be enough content for me to justify that. 
a more regional price for me would be somewhere in the thirty to forty dollar range. I think that would have that would have been the best way to go about it. But like I said, maybe I'll be proven wrong, and maybe there will be plenty of content, and it it will not get that boring after a little bit of time. Who knows? Anyways, the second game on this list is Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Published by WB Games. Now, WB Games does a pretty good job. They they do. This one had already come out recently. I'm all for Star Wars, but I'm still used to Lego games being cheap. <laughs> I just... I 100% cannot justify uh, a full $60 price. I just can't do it. Like I've said before, maybe I'll be wrong. Um, and I will say that the previews I've seen for it definitely makes me want to try it out. But yeah, way too expensive for a Lego game, if you ask me. Anyways, that's going to do it, guys, for this video. If you have any comments, likes, loves, hates of this list, or our channel in general, please let me know. Be sure to subscribe and you can hit that notification bell as well so you can be updated anytime we release more content. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great day.